Continue to be alive. If you believe it, let your amen be very powerful. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, are you ready to pray? You know, I was in Elijah yesterday and I was saying, prayer is your invitation or permission to God for divinity to interfere or intervene in the affairs of humanity. When you pray, you invite divinity into humanity. And once that divinity touches humanity, something must happen. It is like when you put salt into soup, it changes it immediately. The moment divinity touches humanity, something must what? Must happen. And that is prayer. Remember, I was saying for those who were there, in Isaiah 43, verse 19, God said, behold, I do a new thing. But if you go to verse 23, God said, but you have not called upon me. So which means I cannot do a new thing because you are not calling upon me. If you don't call upon me, I will not do a new thing. The new thing is available. But there is a divine protocol that you must follow. And that divine protocol is called prayer. Prayer invites God to bring the new thing. The new thing must happen. If you believe it, let me hear your amen very powerfully, somebody. Everybody shout it. I, I want a new thing. I want a new thing. I need a new, I thing, need a new thing, thing to happen in my life. Let me hear your amen very powerfully. Now, we're going to pray today. Let's look at 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 10. Especially if you have been following me on, on manna, then you know. A little bit of what I'm doing. All right, let's let's look at it together. But David did what? Pursued he and four hundred men, for two hundred abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Bessel. So, if you have been following me on 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 manna, you will know that I said that Bessel, the Hebrew word Bessel means good news. <laughs> there is good news across the river. Oh, word of life, word of life. 
Hmm? Brook. Brook. Brook or brook. is talking about what? Now water. River. So across the river there is what? There's good news. Listen to me very carefully. David was only able to cross with 400. The remaining 200, the Bible says they were faint. They could not cross. But listen now, on the other side of the river, they know that their wives were there, their children were there, some of their property was there, but yet they were too faint to cross. In other words, there was a power greater than them that stopped them from crossing. I don't think you are hearing me. Not the ordinary eye. When you know, say, if you cross this river, everything where you do fine, it did it. You say you are too weak. There must be another power higher than you that is holding you back. If not, if you know that if you can cross this river, the thing where you define, they there. You go cross now. So they could not cross because another power greater than them was holding them back, stopping them from crossing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Did you know that the contract you rejected, another person will get it, do business and build house from it? You didn't hear what I said. The very contract where you say, I don't want, somebody else will come, he go want, take him, do the business, from there, he build house. Yet, you see the trick. You see, the man you rejected, you said you're not going to marry, another girl has married him. They don't get two children. The girl that you disappointed is now married with a child. You see, I used to know a man. It was never difficult for him to get a job. But it was difficult for him to keep a job. To get work, very easy. But to keep work, today, he don't get this work. Three months time, he don't. Now, only they resign, no. Something will just enter ahead. You know, they tell me, oh, now when you don't resign, finish, you go tell me. Say, Baba, I don't resign. One day I tell her, say, if you near me, before I pray, I go slap you first. When you don't resign, you will now tell me, Baba, I have resigned. I say, something, they wrong for your head, something, they, something, they inside. Yes. Three months, four months, he has resigned. Look, there are powers, there are powers. There are powers that can consume, overwhelm people. David said, when I'm overwhelmed, I run to the rock that is higher than I. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 200 men were too faint to cross the river. And yet, 400 crossed. 600 of you, you are together. But 200 were too faint. 400 were able to cross. Why is it that 400 crossed and 200 could not cross? Something I hold them back. Everybody say in the name of Jesus. Nothing will hold me. I will cross this river. And I will get my good news. Are you sure you are with me? I said, I, say it again. I will cross this river. And I will get my good news. Oh yes. Say it one more time. I will cross this river and I will get my good news. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Jesus said, men ought always to pray and not to do what? Oh? Faint, faint. They could not cross because they were faint. They were faint. In Galatians 6, 9, what does the Bible say? Galatians 6, 9. It says, don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, there is a season now, you shall reap if you do what? You faint not. Refuse to faint. Cross the river. Cross the river. 
The thing you define is across the river. Cross the river. Everybody say in the name of Jesus. I cannot hear you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. You wicked powers that are holding me back. I refuse to be held back. I will cross this river and I will meet my good news. I will take my good news. You strange powers in the name of Jesus. Leave me up. Leave me up. Leave me up. Remove your hand from my life. Remove your hand from my life. Remove your hand from my job. Remove your hand from my business. Remove your hand from my education. Remove your hand from my destiny. Wicked powers, I break your hold. Remove your hand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, remove your hand out. Remove your hand out. Remove your hand in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. I said, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Open your mouth. 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 this river I challenge you by fire you satanic weakness wherever you are coming from I bind you I command you go in the name of Jesus satanic weakness that is stopping me from crossing this river I must cross the river they say I don't go cross they have put a line but I will cross I will cross I will cross to receive my good news in the name of Jesus you satanic power go 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 in the name of Jesus drew in your family that nobody must cross they know that the good news is after that line remember remember Jesus has redeemed you from the curse of the law we made a curse for you for cost is every man 
that hanged on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham may come to me. To me. To me. To me. To me. To me. me. So, based on that power of the blood, based on that power of the blood, I crossed the river. Listen to me. What you just did was not ordinary. I want you to do it six more times. Based on the blood with which I was redeemed by Jesus Christ, I crossed the river. Based on the blood with which Jesus Christ redeemed me, I crossed the river. How many times now? Three times? Based on the blood with which Jesus redeemed me, I crossed the river. Based on the blood with which Jesus redeemed me, I crossed the river. How many times now? Based on the blood with which Jesus redeemed me, I crossed the river. Based on the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, blood with which Jesus redeemed me, I crossed the river. My life will never go back again from today, and there will be no repercussion. For he has taken away the curse by that blood in the name of Jesus. Good news, I embrace you. Let good news locate you wherever you are. This week, let good news locate you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, take an offering of good news. Rush to your seat, take an offering of good news. Come and drop it, touch the altar, and go back to your seat. Everybody. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrows and I've been free. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can't be a hallelujah, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't be a hallelujah, bro. Yeah. Because of Jesus, every day, I shall parade you. The trouble, the trouble, the weather, the blessings that you know you receive. What a plan! Lord, your grace and mercy is always a follow me. God has given me victory. Let me see you move your body. Come on, somebody give the Lord a dance in the house.